Now at 5.30, a new lead in the search for a missing woman. She's from Monrovia, specifically where investigators now believe the suspect went after he took her in his car. NBC Force Patrick Healy is at a bank in Azusa, and that is a significant location in this investigation. Patrick? That is the belief, Chuck, from investigators that the suspect's arrival at the ATM in this mini mall behind us marks the end point of a crucial five hour time gap during which they don't know where he went, but are led to believe that after he left Fontana five hours earlier, he took his former girlfriend into the high country to the north to make her disappear. Newly released security camera video of the man investigators believe knows but is not telling what became of his missing former girlfriend. Here stopping at a Fontana gas station barely an hour after he was seen taking 31-year-old Amanda Custer away from Monrovia. We I just want to bring Amanda home. Amanda's father, Rick Custer, choking up as he joins investigators asking for your help. Somebody out there had to have seen something. And now would be a good time to call it in. Investigators confirm this was Camu, recorded at a downtown L.A. bar's open mic session that first night, rapping about killing a woman and burying her body in the dirt. Later, just blocks away, Camu was spotted in his parked Prius, blood found inside, along with a tool for digging. Camu was arrested, but is not told law enforcement where to find her. He has his rights that uh, self-incrimination. and I've never met the man. I'd I haven't heard anything from him. Monrovia neighbors Camu and Custer had dated, but in spring, he was arrested for assaulting her, released to house arrest. His family reported seeing him put her limp and motionless in the back of the Prius a week ago Monday morning and drive off. Where detectives believe he went is on the map Lieutenant Hoagland shared today. Stops in Glendora for food and gas, a sighting in Claremont, the AMPM in Fontana at 9.27 a.m., leaving southbound on I-15, but not sighting again till the Azusa Chase Bank ATM on Foothill at 2.41 p.m. We have a five-hour gap of time where we do not know where Mr. Camu or Amanda Custer uh, were at. This is where we're seeking the public's assistance. Suspicion is it was during that gap that he buried her in the wilderness. Awaiting more specifics, law enforcement and volunteers continue searching the vast region between Lytle Creek and Azusa Canyon. Amanda's dad told us with his support, she was taking a new job out of area to try to get away from Camus, but had not yet moved. His hope is that if you have any information to help fill in that five-hour time gap, you will contact L.A. Sheriff's Homicide Bureau. For now, reporting live from Azusa, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News.